Yo, what is going on guys? Fortunate here. Welcome back to a brand new video I've never featured on the channel. Today we are going to be covering some SM2. Now if you guys are unfamiliar what SM2 is, it is basically a new and upcoming free to play Call of Duty on PC. I've seen this come up in my comments quite a few times now for people asking me to make a video on SM2 and I, I couldn't wait any longer. Like when this does come out, obviously it will be only on PC so if you don't have a PC, unfortunately you are out of luck but just by watching some of these trailers, watching this pre-alpha in development footage, you can already tell how insanely cool this is going to be. So first of all, I'm just gonna get started with the guns. The gun category in this game is going to be wild. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be like 96 total guns. And no, this isn't just like an IW5 plutonium mod like for Black Ops 2, Modern Warfare 3. This is a complete and running game, well going to be. And the best part about it, honestly, is just the fact that most of these guns and most of these maps are just old school Call of Duty maps and guns. Just things that so many people used to enjoy and all mashed into one game this it, like this just blows my mind because just watching this early in development footage and uh, just seeing how many different guns all the different mechanics it, it just blows my mind that they're gonna make this thing free to play so like I said this isn't just like a mod thing but now this is a standalone game there's gonna be no unlock all feature you're going to physically have to rank up everything rank up your guns rank up your level and of course um obviously leveling up you will be able to lock more guns and such like that and i don't know about you but that's what i feel like call of duty recently has been lacking the grind factor you know you you get bored of playing it because there's nothing else to grind for with there being so many weapons in this game so many kill streaks so many things like that i mean honestly i'm not even sure what else is in this game obviously it's pre-alpha development footage there is so much up and coming make sure you guys check out the sm2 channel Channel because they feature updates there all the time I'm just gonna show you some basic footage for now but it, it just oh my gosh I can't even put into words how excited I am for this and like I said this is only gonna be available on PC so if you don't have a PC and you're enjoying this footage and you're looking forward to this game maybe instead of upgrading to a PS5 or the new Xbox maybe just build yourself a PC or order a basic gaming PC but I seriously have to give a huge shout out to the guys developing this game like honestly as sad as it sounds like I really can't believe it came to the point that we have to develop our own Call of Duty games now just to make them fun we've spent years complaining years complaining but they do not listen to us anymore they do not care they are just money hungry and honestly this is just the better alternative to getting the new Call of Duty in the first place considering how far behind they said development was with Call of Duty World War 2 Vanguard or whatever I don't even know what it's called it's just with how beautiful this looks this game that's going to be free to play you do not have to buy this game but just watching this pre-alpha gameplay is way better than whatever rushed game they're going to give us. Like I said, Call of Duty World War 2 was in horrible development stages and it's completely being rushed just like Black Ops Cold War at this case. But honestly, I feel like this is the game I've been waiting for. Like, to me, I always thought the perfect Call of Duty would be like Modern Warfare 2.5. So basically all the Modern Warfare 2 guns, Modern Warfare 3 guns, all mashed into one game with the Modern Warfare 3 movement, Specialist, the Nuke, the Moab, all types of stuff like that, and even both maps in both of these games. But now we get it all mashed in with Black Ops 1 guns, Advanced Warfare guns, like this is crazy. Just so much to take in right now, just watching this Black Ops 2 guns, like it is insane. It is insane all with like I think this is being ran on the Modern Warfare 2 engine or Modern Warfare 3 engine so either way this is going to turn out so beautiful just like ah, I, I this already this pre-development stages footage whatever this is right now this is in way better shape than Black Ops Cold War was at the start of the game like when it launched already no skill based matchmaking BS just you know the game is going to be good when it is community made because they hear the community opinion and voice and they take their recommendations and they actually do it and I've probably mentioned it three or four times by now, but I am super appreciative of the guys developing this game. Like, seriously, thank you guys so much. And honestly, you guys were probably in the same boat as us. Just, you know, why does Call of Duty 
not listen to the community. You know what? Let's take matters into our own hands and just develop this game that the community wants. You know, back to the roots, Call of Duty. Just so perfect, so nostalgic. And this game isn't even about nostalgia. There is so many different weapons from Call of Duties you probably haven't even played that you're still going to find something new in this game that you have never seen before. And if there's anyone new here watching my channel, like this is the first video you're seeing, just want to let you guys know. I am fully transparent and anyone here will tell you that I will honestly give my perfectly balanced opinion fully transparent on a new Call of Duty when it comes out, um, a month after it comes out, a week after it comes out, and like most of you guys know, I'll play a game like Black Ops Cold War, I was enjoying it, I really was for a month, maybe, maybe a little less than that, and then it got to a point where I told myself, you know what dude, I am not having fun anymore maybe a month and then I, I would still stick around and play you know every other day every other week or something like that but it got to a point where i genuinely don't even touch the game anymore recently i saw they added in like a completely callable nuke in the game not just that one game mode which is cool but it takes so long so 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 long that it's just so stupid when new content comes out in that game you can play it for maybe like a week and then you're bored of it already again and then you're just sitting there waiting for more content again when the game came out it literally had maybe 20 guns in four maps five maps that it was just so disgusting and got old so 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 quick and that seems to be the case for most recent cods in general um they just there's no grind factor like i said before there's no grind factor nothing that keeps me coming back and playing the game when i'm playing modern warfare 2 or modern warfare 3 you know, the things bringing me back to that game, the ability to grind out high kill streaks and get rewarded, um, even just the, the fact that the games were so balanced, not necessarily Modern Warfare 2 being balanced, but so broken to a point where every gun or every map almost you can play on. I know I say this a lot on my channel that I dislike certain maps like Derail and stuff like that, but just the feeling of even playing on those maps is 10 times better than any that well i would say than some of the newer maps in general and another thing killing newer call of duties is obviously skill-based matchmaking and it just makes me sick because it is right in front of the the developers eyes and stuff like that right on twitter right on youtube all over the place they can blatantly see it right in front of them how many people just disagree and just going completely at why is skill-based matchmaking still in the game you threw the ranked playlist in and now we're still casually playing ranked in every single team deathmatch lobby for no reason they don't listen and it's obviously they never will at this point it's honestly just disgusting the only time i think they will ever listen to the community is if they start seeing their sales go lower which basically if we all just play sm2 they will lose so much money without so many people buying their game just to play a free to play call of duty made by community members people who have been playing call of duty for so long loving the old school call of duty and I think it would just be so funny that this whole thing of being money hungry would just backfire right in their face and they'd be forced to, you know, at least try and go back to some of their roots and make a better Call of Duty that the community will like instead of not listening to them for so long. I, I, I just think it would be absolutely hilarious, the whole thing just blowing up right in their face for, for not listening to the community for so long. I mean, come on. If you guys are enjoying this gameplay, the pre-alpha build or whatever, just make sure you go to their channel, subscribe, subscribe to my channel because I will definitely be posting updates to this game as it goes along and just make sure you share this video, share that sm2 video get this out there we need people to actually see what amazing work the community can do when they're we're just ignored for super 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 long and i know i say we're like i'm a part of this i'm definitely not a part of this i take no credit in any of the build that they've made but this is just amazing amazing work but i will definitely continue to support the development team on this project i mean i know i think it is set to release in 2022 but take as much time as you need guys seriously this is amazing progress and amazing work and when or if you guys are accepted people to test play or try out the beta or the alpha or whatever I would be more than honored 
to accept a spot in that and try and help out the best way as possible. If one of you guys are watching this video, let me know down in the comments or DM me on Twitter or Instagram. Follow me there, guys, if you're brand new to the channel. By the way, my Instagram is fortunate underscore YT. My Twitter is fortunate FL. Tweet me your favorite color. Instagram message me your favorite color, and I'll follow you guys back. I think that's going to wrap up the video for me. If you guys want to see any of the content without any of the commentary, be sure to head over to their channel. The link will be in the description, SM2. You can find it there. You can watch any of the gameplay they have to, you know, help you guys out, understand the game and stuff like that. If you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like, help get the video out there. I, I seriously think we can make a change and we can make this game completely blow up when it does drop. Subscribe if you guys are brand new. I'll be covering more old school Call of Duty content like usual and SM2 when it does launch. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out and have a great day.